Hey, Dr. Lindsay and Wendy here. Uh, you've probably seen lots of my videos about how we use strip to fix FUEs. Well, the tables are turned this time. Uh, now we're using an FUE to fix uh, a couple of bad strip cases on a guy that's roughly, I don't know, he's, he, he's mature as you. me, but he's a little <laughs> younger than me. I think he's about 42. He does some modeling, and uh, so I don't have his face in any of these things because he was afraid people would recognize him. But he went to a competitor of mine twice and had a little bit of hair sprinkled across his hairline and into the frontal third. And then I know this fellow that did his hair transplant. And a lot of these guys that just start out through this kind of crazy curve as you go from the front to the, to the temple region that you see in all the hair transplant books. <clears throat> but I've never seen it in real life except on people that have had a hair transplant. And so if you look back at all my pictures and all the drawings that we do, it's kind of a straight, straight in with a little bump here, but it doesn't do this goofy curve because uh, there just really aren't curves like that in nature. Right. So he wanted his uh, left hairline and corner improved. And he's such a poor scar, at least in the hands of the other fellow. And it could easily be me. I mean, he may just be a bad scar that we decided we'd do an FUE. FUE. So we did a couple hundred FUEs and, uh, uh, his, and packed his left hairline uh, just the way he wanted it, and he had a little spot that he'd seen on one of his headshots or something. Yeah, yeah, one of his pictures. And then he had a little spot on the right side. So I did a, a couple little videos. Obviously, he hasn't grown in. He's about three weeks out. He just popped in. and uh, But I did a couple of videos during his case, and this illustrates some of the issues that go on with these FUE uh, cases and, and the difference between FUE and strips. So take a peek. Okay, so hold the hair up. So this guy's had two previous strip surgeries and the scar is really wide. My finger for comparison, and that's a monster. And it goes all across the, sc the scalp and it's but too low. Yeah, no, that's very low. So we will do an FUE today and get a few hundred grafts to augment that hairline. So he's got great hair to work with. It's just not enough on this corner. Yeah. So we'll pack this thing in here. And he's drawn that line at home. So this is what we're gonna do today. He's got a hairline that's already been committed to, and there's just a, some hair right at the edge that needs to be augmented. So we'll take, take this without bringing the hairline down. He turned it. So again, using that tree analogy, we've dug a hole around the root, but because we can't get a shovel underneath to transect the, the deep roots, you literally avulse a little bit of it, and the key is to avulse as little as possible. Oh. But that is why FUE. Well, he has a lot of issue. scar tissue. Yeah. But they're coming out good. You just never know. This is uh, three FUEs in a row, and these are coming out super easy, but you just never know. Okay, so here's the left hairline. It's all packed in. We trimmed a few hairs. That whole first three rows are singles, and behind that are twos, and there's a few threes up through here. So what were you going to say, Wendy? I was going to say, so it... The previous doctor, I mean, he. this guy has great hair. Awesome hair. Yes. So this doctor worked only a little bit in that area because of the hairline making it like that. So it wasn't like a whole hair transplant. It was just like a little tiny line. Somehow he spent 2,500 grafts doing that. Yeah. Yes. Well, who knows what happened to this. But. I just All wanted right. to clarify that. So in summary... I think that strip works better than FUE. We've got at least 30 videos going through that. Also, I think FUE works great in selective instances, such like as a one. guy like this who's a crappy yeah. scar and doesn't need a lot of hair. And so uh, do your research. Wendy and I will be glad to answer any questions you have. But make sure you're an informed customer before you have your first case so that you do this as few times as possible. Thanks.